Hi guys, welcome back to day 11 of Solstice. Let's have a seat on our mats. We're going to just begin in a regular seat, crisscross applesauce at the ankles. Nice long spine, shoulders down, hands can be in your lap or on your knees. We're going to take a moment, close our eyes. We're going to take a few breaths, becoming present on our mat. Feel free to set an intention for your practice or your day. We're going to inhale to the count of four and exhale to the count of eight. Let's begin. Deep breath in. And let it all go. Deep breath in. Let it all go. Last one. And let's gently open up our eyes. We're going to bring that left leg underneath so that the knee is in line with the hip. Bring that right leg over. Make sure that foot is flat on the mat and make sure both sits bones are on the mat as well. You can also have your leg straight out in front if that's easier or bring it in. We're going to take the left arm, wrap it around and twist over to the right, keeping a nice long straight spine. And take a deep breath here. And let's unravel. We're gonna take it to the other side. This time the right knee comes in line with that hip and we flatten that left foot on the mat. Both sits bones are on the mat, sitting up nice and tall. Right arm hooks around, keeping a nice long spine. We look over that shoulder. Take a deep breath. And let's unravel. We're going to come into cow face pose, left legs on the bottom, again, knee in line with the hip. And we bring the right knee right on top. If you need to bring the feet out a bit, go for it. If you need to bring them in, just play around with what feels good. Both sits bones on the mat. And maybe you are here, that's okay. It's whatever your anatomy tells you. So listen to your body. Sitting up nice and tall, we're gonna slowly begin to melt the chest forward. And do your best to keep your head or your neck in line with the spine. Take a deep breath here. And come on up. We're going to switch. This time, right leg's on the bottom. Keep that knee in line with the hip. Left leg comes over. Again, play with the feet. See what feels better for your hips. Both sits bones on the mat, sitting up nice and tall. We melt forward. Take a deep breath. And slowly begin to rise. Come back to your regular seat. We're gonna bring that right arm out in front. Slide that left hand down, pull it in towards your chest. Take a deep breath. Slowly turn and look over that right shoulder. Take it to the other side, left arm comes out, we slide that right hand down, pull it in. Look over that shoulder. Take a deep breath. And come on back. Interlace the hands. We're just gonna warm up through the wrists and rave it out. You can get creative with it. You can do figure eights, however you want to do it. As big as you want or as small as you want. And bring the hands out in front and open and close. Let's do some finger warm ups. And jellyfish hands.
Hands on the knees. We're going to look to the right. Come through center. Look to the left. Come through center. Look down. Center. Gently look up. Center. Bring chin to chest. Turn to the right shoulder. Come back through center. Turn to the left shoulder. Do that one more time. And come back. <laughs> Let's come into a tabletop. Hands come under the shoulders, knees under the hips, feet flat on the, on the mat. We're going to lift heels, straighten that right leg out, hips are square to the mat, tighten that tummy, lift the belly button in, and we're going to come down and lift. Come down and lift. One more time. And bring it in. Keep those heels lifted. Straighten the left leg this time. Hip square to the mat. Tighten the tummy. Come on down. And lift. Deep breath in. Exhale to come down. Two more. Last one. Come on up. We're going to widen the knees this time as wide as the mat, big toes touch, and then lift the heels so that opens up your hips. You might need to walk the hands out just a little bit more. And from here, we lower and lift. Keep those heels lifted. Lower and lift. Deep breath in. Exhale, lower. And lift. One more time. And lift. Sit back. Extended child's pose. Use your block if you need some height. Forehead comes to the mat. Relax through the shoulder. Take a deep breath. We're going to walk over to the right. Keep those elbows lifted. Come on through the center. Over to the left. Keep the elbows lifted. Come on back. Rise up, tabletop. Right leg comes out. We're going to slowly come into our puppy pose variation. Chest and chin towards the mat. You can also bring forehead to the mat. We slowly begin to rise. If you need, you can fold the mat over for some padding in your gate pose. We're going to rise up, arms come out, hips are square to the front of the mat, foot can be pointing forward or out to the side, whatever's more comfortable. And we're going to slowly bring the left fingertips to the ground. This is also a good place for a block. If you need some height here, and we're going to stretch it over, right arm over that ear. Take a deep breath. And lift that right arm to the sky. Lift that right leg and hold. Breathing and three two, and one. We bring it down. We're going to stretch it over to the right this time. Don't place your hand on the kneecap. It can be on your thigh or your shin. We're going to slowly turn towards that leg and grab those toes. Flexing that foot, aka dorsiflexion of the foot. See, I pay attention in school. Keep your block in your body if you have it. If you don't have a block and you need some height, you can use a box. You can 
can use a couple books, you can use some game boards. Those are just some options that you have around the house, hopefully. Let's come back to our tabletop. This time the left leg comes out. We're gonna come into our puppy pose variation on the other side, melting the chest and the chin or the forehead to the mat. Take a deep breath. If your shoulders are tight, you can widen the arms. And let's gently walk it back up. Again, if you need some padding, go ahead and fold the mat over, placing that right knee on top. And again, great place for some height here, coming into our gate pose. Stretching that left arm over left ear, nice long line from the fingertips to the toes. And we're gonna lift that left arm to the sky. We're gonna place more weight into the block or the fingertips and lift that left leg. And here we hold, breathing, three, two, and one, lower it down. We're gonna come on up, stretch over to the other side, right arm over right ear, Again, hand can be on the thigh or the shin, just not the kneecap. And we're going to slowly begin to turn as we flex that foot and grab the toes. Come on back to your tabletop. Keep the block nearby in case you need it. I think by now most of you have a block. Sorry, dog hair. We're going to come into our first down dog. Curl the toes under, lift the hips. Take your dog for a walk. Take a deep breath. Pedal through the feet. One more nice, big, deep breath. We're gonna come up onto our tippy toes. And we're going to bring the heels down over to the left side of our mat. Come back up on our tippy toes coming through center and drop the heels down to the right. Come on up, take it to the other side, come back on your tippies and take it to the right. We're then going to bring belly to thighs, staying up on the balls of our feet and stretch the heels down. Again, bring belly to thighs and stretch the heels down. On your next breath in, right leg comes high, three-legged dog. Deep breath in. We're gonna exhale, come through, right knee to right elbow. We hold for three, two, and one. Come on back up. Deep breath in, right leg reaches for the sky. And we exhale, we're gonna step it wide. Lizard pose. That foot is half on, half off the mat, slightly turned out. Drop that back leg down. We're gonna come down to our forearms. We can roll onto the outside of that foot, open up that hip. We're gonna slowly turn that left arm in. As we do, lift that back leg, reach for that foot, and then sink back into that front hip. Take a deep breath. If that's too much, you can also reach under that leg and pull it in. Lower down on that back leg. We're gonna pop up onto the back leg, pop up onto those hands. We're gonna slide that right leg through, lifting those hips, left arm to the sky. Three, two, and one, we're gonna turn the torso, both hands back to the mat. Turn on the ball of that back foot, bend that leg that's over to the left, and we do small, modified push-ups. Not coming all the way down, just halfway. Come on back to a high plank, and back to your down dog. 
Okay, I don't see the feet. <clears throat> Feel free to pop up on the tippy toes. Bring belly to thighs. And then stretch the heels down. One more time. On our next breath in, we're going to lift the left leg high, three-legged dog. We're going to exhale, bring that knee to the left elbow, and we hold three, two, one. Come on back up. Deep breath in, three-legged dog, we exhale, step it wide. You can use your hand on the ankle to help pull that leg up if you need. Drop down on that back knee. Come on down to the forearms. Roll onto the outside of that foot if you want. Take a deep breath. We're going to turn and bring that right forearm in. And this is where we reach for that foot. And then we sink back into that hip. Again, you can come underneath that leg if it's more comfortable. Gently release. We're going to pop up on the hands and the back leg. And we're going to slide that left leg through out to the other side, lifting the hips and right arm to the sky. Three, two, one. We turn the torso, both hands to the mat. We're going to turn on the ball of that back foot, bend that knee that's out to the right and do your small mini push-ups. Breathing. Come on back to your high plank. Let's drop the knees down. Sit back in a regular child's pose. Face the hands towards the sky. And fill your lungs with oxygen. Take three big breaths. Hands to the mat, we come on back to our tabletop. Curl the toes under, come into your down dog. Again, you can pedal through the feet or you can bring belly to thighs and stretch the heels. Do that a couple times. We're gonna bring the right leg high on our next breath in to three-legged dog. This time we exhale, come through the center, bring that knee to left elbow. And we hold. Three, make sure you're breathing. Two, and one. Come on back up, we like a dog. Deep breath in. This time we exhale, bring that knee to chest, give yourself some height, step it up between those hands, drop down that back foot. We slowly rise. Sink into that front hip. You feel those back muscles working. Take a deep breath. We're going to bring the left hand to the inside of that foot. Lift that back foot. Get a hold of that foot. And then sink forward as you stretch that heel towards the glute. Take a deep breath. One more deep breath. Slowly drop down on that back knee, back leg. Pop up, slide back to your high plank. Tuck the, the pelvis slightly to ignite the core. And we're gonna tap lightly with each knee to the mat as we breathe. Bring that knee over to the right, hold for three, 
three, two, and one. Come on back. Deep breath in. This time we exhale, bring that knee to chest, give yourself some height, step it up. Drop down on that back leg. Slowly rise, squeeze those thighs together to lift. We're gonna sink into that front hip. Take a deep breath. Right hand comes on the inside of that foot. Lift that back foot, get a hold of it, and then sink. Bring that heel towards the glute. Take a deep breath. Gently release. Frame that front foot, pop up on the back. Come on back to your plank. Here we're gonna do a couple shoulder taps. Like that. As we breathe. Drop it down, wide like a child's pose. Knees come as wide as the mat, big toes touch. Sit back, melt your chest forward, or use your block, resting your forehead on the block. Take three breaths here. slowly come up. Keep those knees as wide as the mat. We're going to come forward, lift the heels towards the glute, bring the left hand to center, keep those hips sinking forward, bring the right arm out, and we hold for three, two, one. Replace that right hand, bring the left arm out to the side. We hold for three, Two, one, bring it back. Come on back up to your high plank. And we take a vinyasa. Feel free to drop your knees or use two blocks to land on at your shoulders. Deep breath in. We exhale lower. Flip the feet and we rise up. Upward facing dog. We're on the tops of our feet. Shoulders are back and down. We bend the knees, curl the toes, lift the hips. Come into your down dog. Feel free to walk the dog or belly to thighs. Just make sure you're breathing. Tailbone towards the sky. On our next breath in, right leg comes high to three-legged dog. We're going to exhale, step it up, right between those hands, turn and flatten on that back foot. From here, you can use a block. We're going to bring that left hand on the outside and slowly begin to lift the right arm. Or you can just place the fingertips with that arm in front and lift. Wherever you are, take a deep breath. We unravel. Right hand comes on the inside of that foot now. We open up into Humble Warrior. Open up that chest. Putting a little bit more pressure in the outside of that back foot and all four corners of that front foot. And we push off. Come into your warrior two. Come into exalted warrior. We straighten on that front leg. Come back to warrior two arms. Reach at front. Come into your triangle. Open that chest. We're going to turn and frame that front foot. Turn on the ball of that back foot and step it up, coming into pyramid pose. Bring the knee to nose. 
and walk those hands back halfway. Feeling a nice deep stretch through that leg. Fingertips walk up in front of that front foot. We come into our standing split. Keep that back leg active. Pointing the toes. Find your flat back. Hands to heart. Open the arms out to the side. And bring them back in. Open them out. Bring them back in. Keep that back leg active. One more time. And bring it in. Hands to the mat. Step it up. Walk it out, bending one knee and then the other. Left hand comes to the center. We bend the left leg. Right arm to the sky as we twist it open. Look up to the sky. And we replace that hand with the right hand. We bend the right leg. Left arm to the sky. Look up to the sky. Take a deep breath. And come on back. Forward fold. Micro bend in the knees. Tailbones reaching for the sky. And let's roll it up. Deep breath in. Arms overhead. Exhale, hands to heart. In your Tadasana or Mountain Pose. Reach the arms overhead, deep breath in. Exhale, let's dive it down the middle. Deep bend in those knees. Coming into your forward fold. Halfway lift, hands to the shins. We straighten the spine, shoulders back. Deep breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Hands to the mat. Step back to your high plank. Take a vinyasa here. You can drop your knees down if you need, or put two blocks in front of those hands. Deep breath in, come forward, exhale lower. Open it up. Bend the knees, curl the toes. Come on back to down dog. Breathe, stretch through those legs. And on your next breath in, left leg comes high, three-legged dog. We exhale, step it up between those hands. Turn and flatten on that back foot. Again, we can come here and open, keeping that arm in front. Or bring that block, place it over that leg, and open it up. This time we come on the inside with that left hand and we open up that arm to the sky, chest opens up, humble warrior, pressing into the outside of that back foot and all four corners of the front foot. We're going to use that front thigh and really push off, coming into warrior two. Then to your exalted, deep breath, straighten on that front leg. Reach it forward, come on down to your triangle, open up that chest. Take a deep breath. We're gonna slowly turn, frame that front foot, turn on the ball of the back foot, step it up a little closer, coming into pyramid pose. Knee to nose. Walk those hands back halfway. Take a deep breath. One more breath, and last one. Walk those fingertips in front of that foot. Come into your standing split. Bend in that rooted leg, keep that back leg active. Find your flat back, hands to heart. We open up the arms to the side, bring them in. Open it up, bring them in. Open it up, bring it in. Fingertips reach for the ground, step it up. Bend one knee, 
than the other. Right hand to the center, we bend the right leg, reach that arm to the sky. Look up towards that hand. And let's replace left hand, bend the left leg, right arm to the sky. Look up towards that hand. Come on back. Hands to the mat, we step back. Last chance to take a vinyasa. You know the modifications. Find your plank, come forward, deep breath in. Exhale, elbows in at your side, flip the feet, open it up. Shoulders down and back. Bend the knees, this time we swing the legs around. We're gonna come down onto our backs. Slow, one vertebrae at a time. Bringing the legs up. Arms come out to the side. We're gonna bring the right leg down and bring it out a little bit and then in. Bring the left leg down, bring it out a little bit, bring it back in. Alternating sides as we breathe. The legs are hovering when they come down. slightly under, open up through the chest. To do that, you roll the shoulders back and that will lift your chest up. We're gonna bend the knees and we're gonna bring them into the face and then in line with the hips. Bring them in and keep them in line. So I'm bringing them in, I'm not coming all the way down. I'm keeping them in line with my hips. Make sure you breathe. Good. 
Let me know if you liked yesterday's corpse pose where we did the pillow under the knees with the legs kind of elevated. Let me know if you liked that or if you prefer under your lower back. I think it was yesterday we did, yeah, we did that yesterday. Well, you, yeah, I'm all confused because I forget I'm a day ahead of you guys. Come on. Two more. Feet to the mat. Lay back gently. Good morning stretch. Your core should be on fire right about now. And you're probably cussing me out. And I get it. We're going to reach the right arm and the right leg as much as we can. And then we're going to reach the right arm, our left arm and left leg as much as we can. Keeping the arms overhead. We're going to bring the arms and the upper back over to the right corner of our mat. And then we're going to bring the legs over to the right corner of our mat. So we're kind of like a crescent moon. But we want to keep both shoulder blades and both glutes on the mat. Maybe you cross that left leg over the right, and maybe you grab a hold of that right wrist with your left hand, getting a nice side stretch. Come on back to center. This time, arms and, and upper back or torso come over to the left side of your mat. Legs walk over to the left side of your mat. Super good side stretch here. Keeping both shoulder blades and glutes on the mat. For a little deeper stretch, you can cross that right leg over the left. And come on back. Right leg over the left. Lift that left leg parallel with the sky, figure four. Wrap the hands around that thigh, pull everything in, keep that tailbone on the mat. You can use that right elbow to push out on that leg to give you a deeper stretch, coming into reclined pigeon. We always keep the tailbone flat on the mat. I love this position. I think it feels so good. And I hope you guys feel the same. I know a lot of you have shared with me that you love pigeon pose. So this is pigeon pose, but on our back. And you can also do it standing as well. We've done that before. It's like a chair pose variation. Let's cross the left leg over the right. Lift the right leg parallel with the sky. Wrap your hands around the back of that thigh. Pull everything in. Again, you can use the left elbow to push out on that left leg to give a deeper stretch. Keep both feet flexed. Tailbones on the mat. We take a deep breath.
nice and gently waking up the body because my daughter slammed her door and it was loud. So that totally knocked me out of my meditation. Ah. Go ahead and bend your feet to the mat, flat on the mat, and move your blankets and pillows out of the way. We're all gonna turn to one side, coming into fetal position, gently coming up into a seat. I'm going to sit up on my block, and then I'm gonna place my pillow on my block, and I'm gonna have a seat right on top. Gotta love the distractions. At least you guys got a little bit longer of a meditation before it ended, so. And feel free, you can always, you know, shut the, the video off and just continue to meditate as long as you want. So, that's, that's up to you. Let's sit up nice and tall, shoulders down. We're gonna inhale a nice, big, deep breath in. Hold it at the top. And then I want you to visualize any negative thoughts or things happening in your life. Just releasing with each exhale. Let's take a deep breath in. Reach the arms up and hold it at the top. And let it all go. One more deep breath in. Hold it at the top. And let it all go. Hands to your heart. Thank you guys so much for practicing with me for day 11. Thank you for loving me, even with all my imperfections and crazy craziness. But hey, it's real life, I guess, right? So until I can get a produ production team and a studio, then here we are. So that probably will never happen. So I hope you stick around anyway. <laughs> All right, take care, you guys. Have a great rest of your day. I will see you tomorrow for day 12. Namaste.